Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, and it reads, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth. According to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear the devil, the deceiver. You could be at work, you could be at home, could be out and about. Scriptures tell us that we're going to be brought before governors and um, and pretty much the elites for the gospel's sake, right? The Lord said, be thou faithful unto death. Somebody made these pictures on um, AI and it's fitting for this lesson. You got the troops at the door, kicking in the door. You got Jake right there with the scriptures in the, in the career reading the scriptures. Fearing nothing, man. This red letter, Lord Yahweh, shall I speak who they even call Jesus? He told us not to fear. Fear none of those things without shall suffer. See, these other Israelite groups, they make it sound like it's an Israelite party. You see, everything's going to be all love, love. The Lord said tribulation, man. You shall have tribulation, man. You're going to catch a whole lot of hell, right? Fear none of those things. Getting thrown into a concentration camp. And my watch chimed in, going days without food. Losing your job. Losing your family members, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, meaning we are going to suffer. And then going, and it's going to be something quick too. Just uh, at the end of my lunch break, just want to get it in right quick. And um, was uh, First Peter chapter 4, verse 1, it said, arm yourself. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. This is going to be something quick, just a quick little hitter. Them gurgle troops, they come in Israel. You, we, we can't avoid it. Lord, how should I say, Lord, Lord, it's already written already, man. First Peter chapter 4, verse 1 in the reads, For as much then as Yahweh shall suffer for us in the flesh, arm yourself. Likewise, being the Lord Yahweh shall, he had a body, all right? He suffered. He was beaten. The Lord said, the servant is not greater than his master. The same thing that the Lord went through, we're going to have to go through it. But he went through it even more than what we did because he's the king. He's our king, but we're going to have to suffer. Look, the scripture says, strive for the truth unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. No, no matter what, continue to, and we got to constantly pray this each and every day. Continue to pray for more faith, more endurance, more strength to guide us in these perilous times, right? First Peter chapter 4, verse 1, and it reads, For as much then as Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, who you even call Jesus, suffered for us in the flesh. He wasn't just a spirit, he suffered in the flesh, right? Arm yourself. He got thrown in the prison and everything, man. You see, he was slew on a tree. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. You see, so we got to arm ourselves likewise. Remember, the servant is not greater than his Lord. Our Lord is Savior to suffer, right? And he said, look, look, suffer these things. And if and if it causes you in your life, suffer it. And then you will receive a crown of life. Remember, he that endured it to the end. Because this devil is getting ready to come in like a flick. He's going to make it mandatory that you take that C hip, that implantable device, that M O to the T, to the B, to the B, 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 B. And if we don't take it, don't say, we're going to get thrown in the concentration camps. We're most definitely going to lose our job. We're not going to be able to go into the grocery stores and things of that nature. So we're going to have to solely depend on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh. Shall I remember the Lord said, look, um, matter of fact, I want to get it right quick. Like I said before, this is something quick, man. I was looking at the pictures, and, and it's fitting for this lesson. What I want to get, I want to get, um, um, is it Ciroc? Um, Ciroc 2. Let's get Ciroc. Like I said before, I'm at the end of my break. I just want to get something in with a couple of last minutes I had left. Let's get this. So right, chapter two, you, you, you could be a little, little, they're kicking in the door. They're going to kick in the door. They're going to wave in the fofo, you see? And they're going to do all kind of manner. Even remember this devil is going to come in like a madman, sparing none, but only spoiling those that fear Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, right? Who you're going to call God and Jesus, right? You're going to be in your career, probably reading a study or that work. You're going to be somewhere, right? And, and it's going to pop off. Remember, remember uh, what it say? Um, thinking not strange concern, concerning the fiery trials, which is the trial you think this will be happening out of blue, right? And these pictures are pretty much little, little, being taken in front of governors and mayors and things of that nature for a witness 
for the witness and for the name of Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh shall remember, suffer none of those things which thou shalt suffer, right? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, right? Sirach chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, because Lord, we're serving the Lord, right? Prepare thy soul for temptation. You go into the definition for the word temptation. It's pretty much someone trying to lure you or get you to do some evil, all right? Get you the little, they want you to bow down to the B system, right? They want you to take that M A R K, that implantable device, that C hip, that karagma, right? So the Lord said, look, look, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart, meaning thy mind, all right, and constantly endure. And we got to pray for this, right? And make not haste in the time of trouble. Look, look, run to sleazy for what? He's the devil. Remember, we got to always remember this is the devil. Never trust him. Because he can say, you know, you take this sea hip. I'm going to give you some food. I'm going to give you a place to stay. I'm going to give you your job back. I'm going to make sure you get some money on your bank account. Never trust thine enemy, all right? It's, it's, you're going to never. It means in a million years. Now don't, don't bet your life on Don't trust this devil, right? Look, look, let's just jump down. Verse 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Like I said before, this is something quick. Whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. So some of us are going to end up in a concentration camp. Some of us are going to have our heads in the guillotine. Some of us are going to have our doors, you know what I'm saying, kicked off the hinges, right? And, and, look, and we're going to be brought before judges and kings for a witness and, and for Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's name, right? What it say? For gold is tried in the fire. And etc. Well, I'm going to read it again. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Easier said than done, but the Lord going to put his spirit on us, man, to, to be able to make it through it, right? And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You know what I'm saying? The Lord looking for the real deal. The Lord ain't going to just give anybody a crown on their head. The Lord wants to see. He's looking for the true worshipers. Remember that, Israel. He's looking for the true worshipers, right? It says, believe in him and he will help thee. So we got to have faith to the end, man. Strive for the truth unto death and I will give thee a crown of life, right? And the scriptures say, fight that good fight of faith to lay hold unto eternal life. So this is a fight, Israel. We're going to be in the biggest fight of our lives, right? We're going to be judged. We're going to be brung. And like I said before, this song quick. I'm at the end of my break. We're going to be brung before judges and kings, you know what I'm saying? For a witness, man. All right? For a witness of the gospel, right? Our head's probably going to end up. Some of us heads going to end up in, in the guillotine. It's all good just to do what? Just to receive that crown. See that crown? That's one of the elect being crowned by Lord Yahweh Shai, who they can call Jesus, man. You see, because he suffered through it all, man. You see, he didn't sell out of nothing. Let's, let's get this though, verse 10. Look at the generous Sirach chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord have faith in Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? No, no, no. Or whom did he ever despise? Who did the Lord ever hate that called upon him? None, Israel. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. So some of us are gonna be in a predicament like this. The guillotine is gonna come down on our neck. Gonna break. Damn it, let's get this. And and the men of the Lord, the Lord gonna endow some of the men of the Lord on earth with spiritual power. You know what I'm saying? And all the men that you see right there in the background, look gonna, gonna lose limbs. You know what I'm saying? Heads gonna get ripped off the whole, they're gonna get burnt to a crisp. The men of the Lord gonna have laser beams flying out of their eyes and everything, man. I wanna get this though. Like I said, just just so quick. Fear not the incoming of the heathen, because this devil coming. Remember Revelation twelve and twelve. It says, "Um, the devil shall come down unto you, having great wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to roof." Some of us are going to be faced with this right here, man. Acts chapter fourteen, verse twenty-two, and it reads, "Confirming the souls of the disciples." See, we're going to give it to you, black and white. We're going to give it to you like a TIS. We ain't coming with the debates. We're not coming with the nonsense or none of that shit. We we're telling you exactly what's coming down the pipeline according to the Bible. Now you can play around all you want to you Israelite groups out there you can play around all you want to but your congregation gonna come to you for answers and you're not gonna have it right Acts chapter 14 verse 22 confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them push 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 exhorting them to continue in the faith don't give up keep fighting keep fighting keep fighting and that we through much the hopeful elect and that we through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai the Lord said through much tribulation getting thrown into a concentration camp Going days without food, losing your job, losing your family members, whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and I will give thee a crown of life. But the Lord said, Much tribulation. It ain't gonna be no cakewalk. No, so you got these false prophets talking about it ain't gonna be no Jacob's trouble. It ain't gonna be no trip. We in the hope for you of Jacob's trouble. 
2024, the hopeful year of Jacob trouble, this shit about to pop off. When it pop off, it's going to pop off, and you Israelites have been warned. The Lord said, give them warning from me. Remember, the things that are written aforetime time were written for our learning. I want to get this. I'm at, the, I'm at the last little bit of my break. I want to just get this in right quick. Let's just get this in. Um, yep, yeah, let's get this. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17, and it reads, For our light affliction, for our light affliction, man, which is but for a moment, everything that's coming down the pipeline, it, it ain't meant to last forever, Israel. You see, you hope for a leg out there, man. You see, for our light affliction, the Lord calls this light affliction. The things that we're getting ready to go through, the Lord calls it light affliction, especially compared to being re receiving a crown and ruling for all eternity and ruling for all eternity, man. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, man. You see, so the things that we're going through right about now, the suffering is fastly approaching. The Lord said you can't compare it to what's coming. You can't compare it to the kingdom re resting for all eternity, Never having to worry about anything. Your sons and your daughters, you ain't got to worry about them. Having these heathens as slaves, man, it's going to be beautiful. We just got to make it through this. We got we to give it to the real Israel. We got to give They're going to kick in the dough. They're going to wave in the fofo. -fo. They're going to say, look, come with us. They're going to say, either take this see hip or come with us. You see it, man. The pictures right there. AI pictures, man. Romans chapter 8. Why everybody else want to debate when them troops come in your door. Debate them troops that's kicking in your door, right? Debate the governor and the mayors and, and the higher elites, you know what I'm saying? The um, upper echelons of the wicked when they persecuting you and they got you in one of them rooms all by yourself. Debate then, man. Debate if you can wear a hat then, all right? Debate if the writings of the Apostle Paul is authoritative in that day, man. You see? It look, and, I, and look, the Israelites is talking about they don't want to worship Yahweh Shai. Debate, debate the, the people that got your ass in handcuffs in that day, right? Romans chapter 8. Verse 16, and it reads, The Spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha. We are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, right? We don't only want to break down the scripture. We don't only want to fit the prophecies. Deuteronomy 28, chapter protect 15 on down, where the whole chapter pertains to the Israelites. You see, and the Israelites foreigners just been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. They may look like these different heathens. Look, look, the spirit of this Bible bears witness with our spirit that we're the children of Yahshua, all right? And of children then and Heirs, heirs of Yahweh and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer. Remember, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. If we suffer, you want to become joint heirs with the Lord Yahweh Shai, then we must suffer, right? If so be that we suffer with him, that we may that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time being being brought in front of governors. You see, the evils, the evils, no saying the elites, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Offenheim. Mr. Chicken Groovers, show for for showing, right? We're going to be brung in front of them, man. You see? So we're going to be brung before governors and, and kings, man. You see? Of the elites, man. And they're, and they're going to test us, man. We're going to be tested, Israel. We're going to be tested, right? For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be re revealed in us. Lord willing, we part of that hopeful number. So most definitely, we got to be praying for more strength. Oh, yeah, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding, right? Look, look what would it say? Um, trust in him and he will um direct thy paths, just roughly paraphrasing. And then the Lord said, I ain't going to never leave you comfortless anyway. The Lord is here, man. All right? Let's see what else. Because like, I'm, I'm about to roll out. Here, about the word. I just wanted to get that in right quick. I'm going to go right back to... um. I'm going to go right back to Revelation right quick. And then you go to the book of Maccabees. You know what i Remember the generations of old, how we got help from heaven, man. Help from heaven, man. Matter of fact, I I'll bring that out. Let's just get that. I want to get that. Help from heaven, man. Let's get that. Um, Yeah, let's get that. I'm going to end it with this. This ain't going to meant to be nothing long. Just something quick. I'm about, to, I'm about to go back to work, man. I want to get this, though. Um, In the Apocrypha. Um, Let's see. Here it is. Second Maccabees chapter 15. What I want, seven. Um, yeah, second Maccabees chapter 15. We'll, we'll start at verse seven. As soon as this pair Alec got some sense. Second Maccabees chapter 15, verse 7 reads. Let's see. 
But Maccabeus had ever sure confidence, faith that the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, by way of the angels will help them. Wherefore, he exhorted his people, push, 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 don't give up. He exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen. That's the name of the lesson. Henceforth, the title of the lesson, right? Fear not the incoming of the heathen. Man, starting off with sleazy, right? The, the at least the wicked, man. All right. But to remember the help which in former times they had received from heaven and now to expect the victory. In, and we're expecting the same thing this time, man. We're expecting help from heaven, man. All right. Just like the apostle Peter, you know what I'm saying? When he was locked up in prison, you had an angel come and break him out, man. We expect it being so we get um, took in front of judges and kings and rulers and things of that nature. We're expecting help from heaven, Israel. That's what we expect. We expect help from heaven, right? And now to expect the victory in aid which shall come unto you from the Almighty and so comforting them out of the law and the prophets and with all putting them in mind the battles that they won afore he made them more cheerful man and that, look, it says those that prophesy speaketh unto edification exhortation and comfort so we're going to be brought before judges and kings and rulers and things of that nature to be tested to be tried the scripture said be thou faithful and I, I, I go back to that one more time I go back to that revelation one more time Fear not the incoming of the heathen. Remember, this devil is coming down with great wrath, nor that he only got a short time to rule, right? It said, it says, be thou faithful unto death. This devil know he going down, man. You can see it. Auto uh chaos. Create create the problem. Now I want one, I want it too. Create the problem. See the reaction, then bring in the solution. We're not ignorant of Satan devices, man. He's going to make it mandatory that you Negroes in the whole earth, man. You go into Revelation 3 and 10, it goes into that, you see? Let's get this one more time. Revelation 2 and 10, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, be brought before judges and everything, rules and everything, concentration camps, you see? And Jake right there, we're going to end up in a situation like that where, I mean, it ain't nowhere to go. You might as well go with them. Might as well go with them. The Lord performing miracles. We're living in a time of miracles, right? Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, a period of time, right? Be thou faithful unto death. Some of us are going to have to lose our lives, right? Let's just be real. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Fear not the incoming of the heathen. Shalom.